Hello, I'm Carmen from the Featherweight Shop. Today we're going to be revisiting the motor lubricant or grease that's used in your Singer Featherweight. We're going to be addressing two important things that were not covered in the original video we did a couple years ago. If you haven't watched our original motor lubricant video, uh, there's a link at the bottom of the screen for you to do that now. I think it's really important that everyone understands the importance of the correct melting point of the grease that we use in our featherweight motors. So the first thing that I wanted to, to tell you about today is kind of fun, and that is a, a name and logo change. Our grease is now called So Retro Grease. And we did this because when people went into uh, their local quilt stores to purchase grease for their sewing machine, Many of the people thought that because of the little featherweight logo here, that this was only to be used in a Singer featherweight. The reality is that this grease is for any vintage sewing machine that has metal gears, and also for those that have a, a motor with a felt wicking system, similar to the featherweight, like this here. So the grease is now easily identifiable, and it has this fun retro logo. The other reason, and really the main reason, however, that we needed to update this video has to do with Vaseline or petroleum jelly. So we've made a new short melting point video here that shows when Vaseline melts compared to uh, vintage original Singer lubricant as well as our uh, So Retro grease. As you can see, petroleum jelly melts at an extremely low temperature. Now the problem with this is that when it melts, it basically liquefies, putting oil into your motor. This here is a motor that we put Vaseline in and we ran it for a little while until it got warm. Didn't take long, just a few minutes, and the Vaseline melted completely. As you can see from the inside of this motor, it basically just sprayed oil all over in the motor. When oil gets onto the wires of the armature, it causes the motor to overheat, breaking down the insulation on these fine wires here. And this is what destroys an electric motor. An indicator that someone has put Vaseline or oil into the motor is that it will start smoking. Unfortunately, this destroys the motor and there's no remedy other than having the armature, this piece here, completely rewound. So as you can see from the melting point test, Vaseline melts very fast. The original Singer grease and the So Retro grease sits there and slowly melts, which would be slowly lubricating the armature shaft. So that's one reason why you shouldn't put Vaseline in your motor, but it's only half the problem. All greases are basically just oils that have a thickening agent that bonds them together. Most commercial greases use a soap-based lithium or calcium thickener. However, Vaseline uses paraffin wax as its thickener. This means that it holds together really well because it's not designed to, to, be, to disperse by saturation. As you can see from this saturation photo of the Vaseline on a piece of paper and also the vintage Singer grease and our So Retro grease, the Vaseline just sits there. It doesn't wick out into the paper. So this means if you put Vaseline in your motor, you didn't run it, you just left it there, you put it in the lube port here, it would just sit there and do absolutely nothing. It's not going to wick down through that wick. It's not designed to do that. On the other hand, if you ran your motor for any length of time, it would reach a point around 130 degrees when it would liquefy completely. And this would dump oil into your motor. So both scenarios aren't good. So to recap, the So Retro Grease does two things. When the lubricant is in the port here, it slowly saturates this wick and that's what lubricates the armature shaft. And when you're using your machine for any length of time doing some serious sewing, as the motor warms up the heat will cause the lubricant to gradually run down to the shaft and that's what will keep your motor lubricated. Now many of you know how passionate I am about keeping these machines running and doing all that we can to protect the health of these featherweight motors. So if you have any other questions feel free to call us here at the shop or send us an email or post a question on Facebook. We're always glad to help. Have a great day.